Tonight, on Scariest Places on Earth, Venice, Italy is hiding a dark secret. There's no escape from the evil in this place. It's known as the Island of No Return, Bavaria. It's almost as if the island itself has become a living, breathing corpse. A cursed island. They founded pieces of uh, bodies. That no one has dared to visit after dark until now. I got my mother going, my sister going, my niece, my nephew going, so I have to be brave. I wouldn't send an enemy to a place like this. Torture chamber. Where's Allison? Come find me because I'm scared to go out this door. Okay. We're going to try to make our way. Okay. There's nothing in front of me. I can't see it. This is really scary, but I'm going to keep trucking. I'm outside now. I'm very close to you guys. Mama, listen. Hey. Yes. I'm out here. Okay. Okay. We got to go get hey, my mom. We'll find her. Come on. We found each other. I found Mama and I found Daniel. Mommy, is that you? It's me, Michael. Okay, me. okay I found Michael. We gotta go get my mom. All right. so I can kind of hear Michael. I'm gonna scream and you listen. You hear me? Yeah, we that hear way. you. That way. Okay, we're coming to you, okay, Mommy? Come on, Grandma. Okay. Allison, holler. I'm right here. Right. Hey, she's behind us. I know, but I'm in a party and it's thorns and you can't get through. Okay. Mommy, we hear you. Mommy, I see you. Okay, I see you guys. I'm right here. We found Allison. Come on, Mommy. Okay. 12.04 a.m. So you've made it this far. Well, now you must continue to do battle with your fears. Use the tools that are set out before you. Thermal cameras are designed to check out subtle changes in heat and cold. A magnetometer or gauss meter will demonstrate dramatic changes in electromagnetic activity. A laser thermometer can guide you to the most active areas of Pavalia. Some say subtle changes in temperature will point out to you where the spirits are. I do not want to do this. Come on, Danny. Let's roll. I have a bad feeling something's about to happen. It's going out the room. 12.15 a.m. Allison and Danielle approach the head surgeon's office. I know. That's why I was scared to leave. <laughs> I was like, where is... Ah! It's okay, Mom. It's okay. Go. It's okay. Go. Don't stop. Go. <gasps> it's breathing. Go. Okay. You're scaring me. Go, Mom. Okay, this is the room I was in. Is this it right here? That's the room. Oh. Allison and Danielle, are you okay? Yeah. Yes, we're okay. We're trying to see if our temperature changes. Right here, it changes from 22 to 23. It's just a little cold in here. Okay, did you hear that? Well, don't listen for nothing. Danielle, it's up here. Look, it changed from 22 okay, to 24. Okay, that's, that's all we need to know. I think it's a lot of them. A lot of different spirits. They couldn't rest. There's one standing right there. And there's one over there, and there's one over here. Why is there so many in here? Because this is where the doctor was that did all the evil, and they probably 
can't rest in peace right now. There's one right here too, right there. Now they're really at this door, Danielle. They're all over here now. <gasps> now it's 25. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> right here. They are. They're all over here. They're all over this side of the wall. So stay right there. Get out of here. See, they're all around us now. Would you just stay right behind me, Mama? Whoa, wait, wait. Shh, shh. Listen, hear it? It's coming from back here. Okay. There's nothing down here. Okay, well, what does the meter say? I'm going with the Geiger meter. And what does it say? It's saying zero, nothing. Keep going. It's saying zero. Keep going. Fix. <laughs> See, I told you. Okay, okay. There's something going on in that corner. Okay, the meter's going off, son. It's going up a little. It's sitting yellow. Uh-oh. It's going oh, up. Oh, man, it's going up too high now. See? Okay. We heard something that made us jump. And we... Whoa. There's something here. Maybe he's laying there on the bed. We're at a bed. Oh! We're at a bed and we just heard something. The meter is reading uh, three. He's somewhere around here. Uh-oh. It went all the way to red. The needle went all the way to red. He's in this area, in this room. There is some kind of presence. He's following us. Everywhere we walk, he's behind us. It's right by us again. You hear me? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. This door just opened. The door just opened and the meter went high. All the way to red. What's inside there? Walk over that way just a little bit. We know his presence is here. We have determined that. And the meter's going crazy. And everything is okay, sir. Everything is fine. And we're leaving. We didn't mean to disturb you. Yes. We're just gonna... Just be careful. Go out here and leave you alone. Okay. I found the crematory. Right now, I'm not nervous, but a little sweaty. Let's see what the thermal camera says. Everything appears to be very, very dark. Everything seems really cold. It's not picking up anything. Whoa! That was something. Okay. Something just fell. The wood and the wall just fell. Okay. Probably just a loose board. Yes, a loose board. All right. I get a hold of myself. I don't know what that was, but it did shock me. So it made me jump, but I'm doing all right. There's a lot of spirits in here. I don't know how we can put their soul at rest. Oh, oh, oh please, please, physically, please. Over there, over there. I think we gotta get out of this room. One a.m. Inside the head surgeon's office. It's right there. It's in that door. See that now? Don't open this. You want to look for the stuff to come and get you.
1.44 a.m., Danielle seeks the protection of her Uncle Victor. Come on, Danielle. We can do it. We'll just stay behind me. If you get scared, just hold on to me. Right here is a gas chamber. And this is where I started. And we're going to check it out. I'm scared. I don't, I don't like this room. Well, we're going and we're checking it out. So I'm looking around the room. I'm going to look in this right here to see if I see any kind of spirits. Now, there seems to be heat coming off the gas chamber. I see heat on the door, but I don't see any spirit. This door closed. Should we open it? Just leave it alone. It's supposed to be closed. If it's closed, there's nothing in there. It's just like this one. Just leave it alone. There's nothing in there. I'm looking for it. Oh my god, no! No! <laughs> no! No need to be scared. No! No need to be scared. No need to be scared. I'm looking to see. Mommy, stop his moaning here. I'm looking to see if there's any spirits. Stop coming over here. No need to be scared. I don't see anything in the meter yet. Do you hear them? They're coming at me. You're not doing anything. I told you to open the door. We're exploring. People God, want to know. Please help me. God, please help me. People want to know if there's something here. God, please and help me. And the spirits want us to help them. They want us God, to help. Please help me. <laughs> okay, Laverne. You can do this. You've been up here enough times. Oh. Please don't start that walking again. I'm not really afraid. I just, I'm not comfortable. I think it's different to being afraid and being uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm a friend. Just look upon me as somebody you know. Somebody that wants to help you. Oh, oh, the reading is going up, Allison. Oh, it's up to 45. Huh? Ah! Hey, hey, quit that. Quit, quit, stop it. Oh, please don't, nothing, the door. Okay, nothing bad, not come out of there. Okay, okay, okay. 2.15 a.m. Allison leads Michael to the head surgeon's office. Or see that gate right there? Mm -hmm. He's outside that gate. Okay. So that's where he was a minute ago. Yeah, because I've never seen this room. No, you haven't. You don't want to. Trust me. Now, if you open that door, it's a crack there. Mm -hmm. But it won't let you, it won't let it open. Well, if it's not supposed to open, then it won't open. You hear that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The door just came in. Well, you go check. All right, it. I'm gonna go check it I'll out. I'll stay right here and wait for you. I'm good to go. We yeah. gotta look for him. That's what we're here to do, and I'm a fun. Michael is determined to go in this door that fell. Let me just step in here and take some readings. There's another door in the corner, and uh, a couple beds for some experimentation. Michael, get some readings over here. Okay. Look. These are heads, lots of them. Okay. Oh, Michael, look, it's like an organ, like a kidney or something. This looks like a heart. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my God. It's okay, it's okay. He wants to scare us. He ain't gonna get me without a fight. 2.55 a.m. The Wilson family reunites in the hospital library. I think 
that if they didn't want us to know that they was here, they wouldn't do nothing, right? right. They would just be quiet. We just walk around here and we wouldn't see nothing or feel nothing. But obviously, they're doing something to make themselves known. Right. Right. Whatever is there wants to be released. You know, like they've been. No, they just trapped. wanted us to leave them alone. I don't know what they want, but I think the doctor is the bad spirit that's around, and that they're scared of that. That banging, that's the doctor. He wants you to know he's in charge. Right. He's definitely in the room that we in because every time I go over there, it's the same thing, but it gets a little worse. Your investigations must continue with the additional tools that have been laid out before you. This equipment was used by Venetian alchemists and sorcerers. These rods were commonly used throughout Italy in the Middle Ages. When the rods crossed, some say, you are in the presence of spirits. The ancients used a crystal born in another time. Should you hold it and it spins counterclockwise, an evil presence may be near. This is a pendulum. It was used in the 15th and 16th century. Should it swing in a circular motion? Some believe that spirit is present. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, good luck, everybody. Divide and conquer, that's what they call it. Well, Danielle and I are in this room. This is the surgeon's room, and we have this crystal. And right now, we don't see anything happening with it. We're just trying to hang in here. We do the best we can. Nothing going on. No activity. We haven't gotten any activity in here yet. Don't ask for it. Do you hear that? I heard that. They must be in here. I just heard something whispering to us, talking softly. What is that? A whisper. I heard a whisper. Enough is enough. It's too much. Wait, don't get nervous. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna make it. We're family. We're gonna make it. Okay, spirits. This is the pendulum. And I'm holding it. I am trying to determine if you're in here. Whoa. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, shoot. Okay. No problem. I'm sweating like a dog. Okay. I come in peace, spirits. I come in peace. I'm your friend. I'm your friend, spirit. I'm a good spirit myself. Let's... I can't hear you. I hear something. It said something. You have to say it again, spirit. You have to say it again if you want me to help. You'll have to say it again. Whoa, I hear something, and I felt a cool breeze. My name is Victor, and I come in peace. Can you make the pendulum move? Whoa. Whoa, I see it. The pendulum is moving. I hear some chains. No. Sorry. 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 I hear the chains, Michael. I hear them too. There's a ceiling. Yeah, I'm gonna check with the thermal camera. This room is really Michael, cool. they're crossing. Look, it's Can you hear me? Look, it's crossing. I'm not moving it. See, if you when I uncross them, they cross right back. Hold on. I heard something. See, they still crossing. Mm-hmm. Try right here, because it's really blue. Okay. 
Well, I'm separate from my kids. See, they cross right back. Oh, yeah? Okay. There's definitely something in here. Well, we want to check out right there, too. It didn't right. want us to film it. It's now I hear the chains. That's all right. It's all right. The rods are coming We don't again. want anything. Like, you just... Oh, my God. Get out of here, Michael. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Get Please. out of here. That's a mean one in here. Yeah. It definitely doesn't want us in here. <laughs> Michael, put that light over there. I hear something. We keep hearing and seeing things. I'm seeing shadows. I know it's something in this room. Okay. And it definitely doesn't like us. It's not a good one. No. Hey, can anybody hear me? I think I have a lady in here who's trying to communicate with me. It's a female spirit, and she's talking, but I can barely hear her. Or you want me to stay here, or do you want me to go to another room? You can talk to me. Stay here. If you want me to stay here, make a noise. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. I'm coming. I have no choice but to come. Okay. I hear something. You want me to come in here? You want me in here? I think it's pretty messed up what the doctor did. And I understand. Believe me, I do. Huh? I hear you. Say it again. Hi, I'm okay. I keep hearing noises. And I'm trying to check it out. No! Okay, okay. I hear something in this room. I'm in that room with the body parts, and uh, I'm just checking it out. Okay, I know you're in here. The pin. Whoa. Whoa. Danielle, you're okay? Whoa. Whoa. I hear you. Are you with Danielle okay? Whoa. Okay, point the rods over here. I mean, yep, the rods are definitely crossed right here. <laughs> Sorry. Did you hear that? I heard it. Get away from us. But I'm nothing, afraid of you. Nothing else seems to be alerting it, but it's, it's definitely... trying to scare us. There's definitely a spirit in here, because... Yeah. What do you want? It sounds like it's, it's open. opening something. If it's opening, it might be coming through. No. Let's go show yourself. Look at the rods. It sounds like it's raining. Strange. It sounds it? like a strong wrestling noise. It's definitely there. doesn't want us to be here. No, we don't. Victor is coming after us. He's, He's coming. coming though. If only we could get a... It's a big one on top of the ceiling. Yeah, he's up there. Can you see it? No, we hear it. It's got chains. There's two of them in here. And every time we try to go near the exit, it comes, it roars, the chains roll. I don't think it wants us to get out of here. We done what we came to do was investigate, and we found something. We found you. We see you. And it's definitely in here. It's definitely in here. I hear it. Sounds like he's walking. 
It's one that both walk in, one behind us and one in front of us. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go that way and it's nowhere this way though. It's probably going to corner us in. So I guess you could say, yes, we're surrounded by them. It's kind of trapping us. We're cornered. The ghost has cornered us. shows that he is no longer over here. This is clear. Let's just get the heck out of here. Please don't get us, please. God, please help us tell me what this is okay. here, Michael. How's everybody doing? We on our way back. We okay. I feel something touch me. Who's on the road? We're on our way back. It's okay. It's following us. I just said too fast. Okay. It's all right. Okay, I see your light, Allison and Mike. Victor, you're not going to believe what that thing did to us. Wow. It cornered us. One was in front of us and one was behind us. Then that thing on that uh -huh. chamber opened. Like it was going to suck us up in there. 3.56 a.m. Inside the hospital library. Well, you've come this far. You've made it to this point of the evening. You must be asking yourself, have I experienced the unexplainable? Hell yeah. Have the spirits of the dead made themselves known to you? Now you must face your fears one more time. One more time, Danielle. You will be led, hooded, to five locations on Bavalia. At your next locations, you will understand how your night will end. A prayer and a cleansing ritual are called for. The cleansing ceremony will offer only a small measure of protection to keep this place and the things that are here away from you. When you leave. That's I can't do it. Yes, you can. You Danielle. have to finish that, Danielle. <laughs> they're gonna try to get me. No, they're not. Myself. They haven't even been following you. You only had some good ones. And you didn't even see one a minute ago. You can do it. We're almost finished. You almost done, Danielle. Let the tears fall now. But we gonna do this. Because we gotta get them away from you. Danielle, we can do it, honey. Heavenly Father. We shall be strong, and we will go on together. Okay, Danielle. So you've got to concentrate right now. No time to panic. We're going to make it, Danny. You're going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. my shepherd shall not work. My kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. I'm in 
this room and I'm hearing stuff. And I'm scared. Right now, Lord, please help us and protect us, God. Time to rock and roll. Ah, we've all got to face our own demons. All right, show yourself. Oh man, what's over here? Oh. Okay. Spirit we're all good spirits here, and I'm here to help. I hear a spirit somewhere. Okay, what is that? I see something walking, and I don't know what the heck it is. Hey, let me get some recon. Where is everybody at? I'm in some room, like, way upstairs. I walked up a lot of stairs. I'm upstairs too, Danielle, in that room. I've never been here and have like a fire. So Can you help me, lady? Help me. 
Danielle, please calm down. We hear your voice already. We're coming to help you. <laughs> Danielle, calm down. We're all right here. Oh, mommy. <laughs> She is right there. Calm down. You made it. Come on. We're right here. You're done, Danielle. You did it. You made it. We're all together now. Breathe. Now. Stop. Take these. Okay. 5.13 a.m. The Wilsons seek out the hospital chapel to cleanse themselves and offer a prayer to Pavelia's dead. You made it through. We're all back together. There's one more task when we get to the chapel. Yeah, he's just getting rid of the spirit. We're all together in the same room. Come on, you can make it. Right here by your side. Okay. You see, they didn't need to touch us. Come on. Michael, you must immerse your face in the water for 30 seconds. So, Michael, you're going to have to cleanse all of us. Okay, everybody go in a semi-circle. Life, blood of the earth. Life, Life blood, blood of the earth. earth. I take thee upon me. I, I take thee upon me. Let the power of the world. Let the power of the world. Protect and keep me. Protect, protect and keep me. This night. This and night. Forevermore. And this forevermore. night and forevermore. Okay, we made it, Danielle. You did it. You made it. It's over. You did it. It's over. You slowly. You did right. You're done. I need to know whether you have experienced anything. What happened to you? I experienced some things that I didn't think that I would. I came in believing that. There are good forces and evil forces. And tonight, I really found out that there are certain forces in the world. I um, experienced things moving. Ah! Hey, hey, quit that. Quick, quick, stop it. The two different meters that I had showed that there was something in that room besides myself. Uh, I experienced a lot of things tonight that um, will give me a lot of food for thought. I did come in wanting to know for sure if something existed, and I did feel a touch in my back. <laughs> it's okay, Mom, it's okay. <gasps> it's breathing. Go. When I was upstairs, like, I could feel, like, chills. I could tell that somebody was near me, and, like, somebody was breathing on me. It was, like, breathing really hard, like, right on my neck, and I could hear them just breathing. And they touched me and my mom's face several times. They touched our face. They touched our neck, like, in this area in here, and they rubbed their hands, like, against our face. Like, we could feel them, like, going like this. I did see a lot of weird things tonight. I think I'll go home more open-minded now where um, if someone's telling me something about paranormal, I would understand more what they're saying and not just say, oh, you're just making that up. And so I'd say I'd leave here more open-minded than I came. I know, I know. I came here being a skeptic. Uh, I was laughing about a lot of things. Uh, I smile naturally. I can't stop smiling for some reason. I truly didn't believe in spirits uh, when I came here, but now I, I think that there may uh, be spirits. I heard a lady's voice. It was very faint, faint voice. I hear something. You have to say it again, spirit. When I heard it, I, I knew it was someone trying to talk to me, but I just couldn't understand what she was saying. And I went from room to room to try and find her. I think she led me throughout the night, and I think she was a good spirit. But there were no spirits when you arrived, were there? No, no, I didn't think there was. And uh, I, I didn't think there was, so I have to take that back, because I've heard them. <laughs> I've heard them, and, and that I know. I know that there's ghosts here, 
but there's evil here too. And the evil lurks and it tries to get the people that it knows it can attack. It was an evil spirit at the window. It was a big black shadow. I just knew when we walked in it was evil. It was bad. My whole body felt like something was coming to get me. I knew it was the surgeon. <laughs> His spirit is still, it's a bad spirit, it's haunting us, and the other spirits can't get away from it. If there were spirits there that were looking to be released, to be freed, if what we did helped them to rest in peace, then I think what I did tonight was good. I would just warn people, do not come here, or don't look forward to coming here. You should just leave it alone. I would never recommend for anybody to just come here to just try to find a ghost because there's no limit to what can happen here. When you leave Pavalia, you've seen things and you've experienced things that you've previously had no comprehension of. You maybe thought they might exist. But when you know they're true, when you know it's real, you're never the same again.